Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Yahusha Hamashiach, to all give all honor, glory, and praise. Um, I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for strength and encouragement for you guys to be trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, trusting his word, stay obedient to his commands, love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbors as yourself. So I want to go over scripture today here today, Philippians uh, chapter 4, verse 6. And it says here, this is from the Apostle Paul. It says, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. So no matter what circumstances you're in, no matter what we go through, no matter what obstacles we face, we can always call upon the, na the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. He is our rock. His promises never fail. He always told us he would never leave us nor forsake us. And he also said that cast all of our burdens on him, cast a yoke on him, and he will give us rest. We have to trust in him and abide in him, allow his Holy Spirit to work through our hearts and minds, stay in peace with our brothers and sisters, continue to love one another, forgive one another, and trusting in the Holy Spirit and letting the Holy Spirit be our guide in all things. Everything that we do has to be based through the Holy Spirit, through the God's word, and the way we conduct ourselves, the way we carry ourselves, unto the way we treat other people, and we love one another as well. You know, Jesus Christ set the perfect example for us. He died for each and every one of us, the righteous and the unrighteous. He saved us from our sins. He cleansed us for the sins, all sins, sins from the past, present, and future. He is the ultimate Savior. He is the only Savior, and He is God made manifest to the flesh. Um, there is no love like the love of God through Jesus Christ, the grace of God through Jesus Christ. There's no love like that. No one would ever sacrifice their only son just for us who are fallen, who are sinful, who don't deserve any grace. But yet again, God still loved us. Not one figure, not one religious figure or so-called God would ever do that for you, would ever lower themselves to that standard and take on all the sins and, 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 and graft us in by his blood, his atonement. We have to be thankful for everything that the Lord Jesus Christ has given for us, has done for us on the, on the cross. And I will never forget that. I will always give thanks for, for what he took me from, from the lifestyle that I live, from the wickedness that I've done and all the things that I've done to hurt people and the things that I've done to uh, disappoint him in many ways. But thank God for Jesus Christ. That's why I continually uh, will live in his will continue to walk in his steps being set apart from the ways I used to be in the ways of his world that's how each and every one of us needs to be we need to set our minds and focus on doing the will of the Lord Jesus Christ focusing on fulfilling our mission here as being ambassadors of Christ being able to carry his message through the way we live our lives being truthful honest deep down in our hearts you know fixing and asking the Holy Spirit to transform us every day you know, Lord, give us grace. Forgive me of my sins. Give me a heart of flesh. You know, remove the heart of stone. Remove whatever bitterness that's inside me. Re remove whatever that's not of you. Take it away from me, Lord Jesus Christ. Let me be filled with you. I want to be more like you. I want your spirit to be in me. Live through me so I can glorify your name and give you all glory, honor, and praise. Because that's what it matters in this world. It matters is continuing to walk serving your neighbors, loving your neighbor, putting others before you, not thinking highly of yourself. You know, when you see people in the middle of the street, when you see people and you encounter them, greet them, say hi, say how you doing, God bless you. You know, everywhere I try to make that, uh, I try to make it my goal to be able to, you know, greet every person I encounter to try to, you know, maybe I can build them up. You don't know if the person's having a bad day. When you, when you work out to the store, like right now we're in Burger King, trying to have a quick bite with the kids. And you want to say, you know, you want to appreciate the, the the work that these people do for you. You know, they're workers, but still you have to, you, you always have to greet the people. Anyone that's doing anything, you know, that's what Jesus Christ did. He showed love to everyone he encountered. We have to show love to the people that work here. You know, they work hard. You know, they're, they're out here doing what they're doing for their family. But you show them appreciation, man. Their services, you know, they're serving. They're serving. They're ministering to us, you know, through our food and the way they serve us. And that's how we should do in every encounter that we make with anybody. 
we need to be a servitude, be a service to anyone in any way we can. You know, whether it's giving them a good word of encouragement, whether it's building them up, whether it's speaking life over them, we are supposed to be light bearers. And when we're doing that, we are living the life of Christ. We're never supposed to put anyone down or shut them down. We're always supposed to try to build up. And even if you do have to correct someone with righteous judgment, you don't want to do it in a way to make them feel like like this big, like, like you know, cut them down and make them feel bad, you know, like, they, like they're never going to be able to, you know, uh, come out of what they're going through or what they've made mistakes in. You want to build them up in every aspect of the way. And you want Jesus Christ to let you... We want the Holy Spirit to lead you. You don't want to be led by your flesh. Led by your Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit guide you and lead you to all truth and righteousness. Being in the will of the Father. That's what it's about, guys. It's not about us. It's not about our flesh. It's not about our personal uh, gain and what we want in our own opinions. It's about doing the will of the Father. Staying true to the gospel and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us in each and every area of our life. So this is Brother Ray here. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I love you. I love you. Okay. Love you guys. Blessings and peace to you guys. Peace and blessings to you until next time. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a great week, guys. Continue to let Jesus Christ be your guide and let him guide you with all truth and understanding. Hallelujah. All glory to the King. Peace.